Hey gang, how are you guys? Uh, welcome to this round of October readings. I'm super excited to get these out to you, so I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, as you guys know, format changes every time, so just some house rules. Take these messages as they resonate. If it doesn't make sense to your situation, or doesn't feel right, that part of the message wasn't meant for you. Um, you may resonate with one deck, some of the decks, all the decks. Again, don't try to force the message. Just take it as it comes and only take with you what, you know, makes sense, essentially. Uh, for this round, um, I pulled some different decks. Um, a lot of what I talk about in this um, kind of spirit message monthly is really centered a lot on the transits that we're going through, specifically for Venus, um, all these planets we have going through in Scorpio, so including Venus, Mercury goes retrograde in Scorpio. Lots of heavy things are going to be bubbling up to the surface for all the signs. Um, so that was a big focus for me in these readings. Um, so I, we're going to pull a goddess oracle <clears throat> in honor of Venus and see what kind of messages are coming through from the Divine Feminine. Um, we're pulling some astrology cards to see what the message is there from the planets. We'll get our main message from the tarot spread. And then I'm also going to pull a bonus blessing card um, just to kind of see what blessings you're getting this month. Because we're going to be dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, and for some of us, a lot of stuff that maybe has been put on the side for a while that we just didn't want to tolerate. Universe this month is kind of like, oh, okay, we're going to deal with that now. So, hope you got your big boy and big girl pants on, because we're going to get into it. Um, again, take what resonates. You may resonate with some or all. Do not try to force the message. These are general readings. Um, and they are going to be for the sun, moon, and rising signs. I will say maybe even Venus, since we are kind of focusing on Venus, so you may want to watch your Venus sign video as well, even though we're not necessarily talking about love in this series. All right, my friends, take care, and I will see you in the video. Let's get to it. Hey, Gemini. Welcome to your October Spirit Message reading. This is TC, your guiding chariot. This message, or these messages, will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, maybe also Venus, so if you feel inclined, definitely check out your Venus video. Um, this is going to be, uh, these are going to be spirit messages for the month, but I am kind of focusing them on this Venus transit, because I feel like it is going to be affecting all of us this month in a very strong way. Uh, Venus moving into Scorpio, or actually by now it's in Scorpio, what am I saying? Um, so Venus is already in Scorpio, so the time this is up. Um, so because of that, I do want to pull some Divine Feminine Energy into this reading. So we're going to pull a Goddess Oracle. There we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, all right. This is fun. All right. I don't even know if I can say that right. So you guys got Mama Kocha? Question mark? Uh, water. I love this. So, this is fun. So let me tell you why. Um, if you've never watched, I, know, I feel like I always talk about the Cancer video, so only the Cancers know it. Um, I am a Cancer sun. Um, so big old moon child, big old water baby. I love it. Um, last night, the moon went into alignment with Neptune. Um, by last night, I'm talking about Thursday, October 10th. Um, I'm filming this the night of the 11th. Um, and honestly, what it did, it really amplified anything with the element of water. So all the water signs are getting a little bit boost, but all of us, our intuition is getting a big hit right now. You guys, for being one of the signs not, you know, not of the water element, you know, the fr literally the first thing I thought of when I saw uh, Mama Kocha water was legit. Your intuition is getting a huge boost, big, big spike. So if you are getting gut feelings right now, if you are having dreams for some of you, you know, those are real direct and real important messages that spirit is trying to get to you. So any gut feelings, hunches, intuitive little pings, dreams, pay attention to them. It may, honestly, for some reason, I keep thinking of a notebook. So it may be even worth it to write some of these things down before they kind of like slip out of your head. Um, and you guys, Gemini, you know, I always talk about, you guys are the communicators. You guys, 
communicate and send messages like no one else. So again, some of these messages may be for you, some of them may be for others. You know, you may just be getting downloads, you know, to help the people around you, all right? So don't let, I was almost saying, don't let any of them pass you by. Like, I don't think you'll be able to let them pass you by. Like, they're going to come through real, the real hot and heavy and really have an impact on you. Um, and you won't have a choice to ignore them. But what could happen is that you forget them, right? Let's see what your astrology cards bring up. Oh, there we go. That was easy. You had the Libra card pop out. So I just put it on the top. I'm not going to take it, but it might be a little extra if you have some strong Libra placements. It might be a thing. All right. Oh, yes. I'm excited. So first card, we got Pluto Transformation. Told you, you are getting some massive downloads. They might even have to do with your own personal transformation. Moon Soul card. I love it. Definitely lots of watery energy there. You think you think of the moon controlling the tides, pulling on water, even the water that makes up our body. That's why the full moon makes us crazy. They call them lunatics because of Luna, the moon. And then you also have sun, spirit. So you have some opposing energies in here as well, right? Moon and the moon and the sun, water and fire. You know, and just to throw it out there, Pluto, also kind of a watery watery energy. I think it's probably it's real icy too. I think how cold it is out there. Good Lord. Um, it's just, it's, it's a nice, interesting mix. And Pluto, planet of transformation, also rules Scorpio. Water sign. So more water to play with. What I want to say is going on here. To me, this transformation is really about linking these two realms, the moon with the sun. You know, this, this, here they have the sun described as spirit, which isn't wrong. It's totally true. But I will, I almost want to say it's like the link between these two worlds. It's like bridging the gap. Sorry, I'm just moving my legs around. Um, it's about bridging this gap. So it's almost like bridging your, your inner self, your soul, your spiritual self, your emotional self, bridging that and connecting it to how you show up in the world and how you present yourself, right? Because the sun is where we get our life and our vitality, you know, and we shine brightly, we're bold, this is how we express ourselves. I think a lot of this transformation is, is about getting some of that, you know, private internal stuff and kind of just owning it and living it and being it. It, do, it doesn't have to be communicated and shouted off on the rooftops, but it's, it's kind of like now you really just kind of like walk your walk. I don't even want to say that. Like, I almost want to say it's more like you own your walk. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not about telling people who you are. It's about showing them. Like, I'm just going to live this life how I feel fit and what I want and how I do things without, you know, second-guessing myself or doubting myself or thinking I need to get this, this action approved by someone else. This, you are just going to be in the flow through this transformation, which is glorious. I'm excited about it. I really like that. Those are some powerful, powerful energies, my lovely Geminis. So lots of fun stuff. You guys may even, so some of you out there, you may be even be really close with a, with a couple water signs. They may be a really good support, right? Because you think about it, they, they naturally move through these types of energies. You know, I'm not saying you're completely green or like this is totally new to you, but at the level you're going to be operating now, it might be good to get inspired by some of these people who, you know, already deal with these energies on a daily. So your water sign, especially your, whoop, as I throw everything on the floor, I got real excited, but especially your Cancers and your Scorpios, any Cancers and Scorpios in your life, it may be helpful to keep them very, very close. Hold on, let me pick up all my cards. I was throwing them all over the floor. <laughs>
Okay. Sorry, my friends, thanks for waiting. I had a little puddle of water under my desk, so my cards, of course, of all the space they could fall, they fell right into it. So we're gonna switch decks real fast. I don't know, maybe you wouldn't like that deck, I don't know. Spirit was like, nope, we're not doing that. What messages do we have for Gemini? Most important message for Gemini for the month of October. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, that came out real fast. Oh, look, there you are. All right, let's start with these. We'll pull a few more. Oh, stop it. Right, moving my legs around again. Bottom of the deck right now, six of pentacles. So all about giving, receiving, all about being in the flow. We talked about this flow earlier. I'm telling you, this water is running through you this month. I love it. Love, love, love. Oh, I can't wait to see my, my <laughs> Gemini friends after posting this. All right. So we've got the ten of pentacles in reverse. Don't freak out. Not the worst reversal ever. Queen of Swords, easy natural energy for you. Before I talk about these guys, with these two to start, this Ten of Pentacles here, I don't necessarily see the Ten of Pentacles reversed as a bad thing. I know some people will automatically negate what it means when a card pops up in reverse. To me, I don't really think there's much you can do to mess with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel, I, to me, it's a real positive, really permanent, long-lasting energy. Uh, what happens for me when, when this card pops up in reverse, it's the same way I feel about, like, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like, it's, it's kind of like you settle for, like, the B version of this outcome, right? Like, the true, the true, like, the true inheritance, the true legacy you want to leave, you know, kind of, like, you just, you, you stop at eight, Right, like you could have had more, but we settled. We decided to be tired and sit down instead of like push that last little bit. You know, it's, it's, to me that's what it feels like. So whatever we're trying to manifest, whatever we're trying to work on, it's like we've kind of settled for the 8 version when we could really have the 10 version. You know, like the 8 out of 10 versus 10 out of 10. This Queen of Swords isn't, okay. <laughs> she's not okay with that. She's like, oh no, there's work to be done. We need to do it. Like, the emotion gets taken out taken out of it, the pain, the exhaustion gets taken out of it, you know, so she can be kind of cold, and she, you know, this is an energy where she swings her sword first and, you know, asks questions later, if at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And honestly, probably not at all. You know, but it's just because there's work to be done. Oh, you mean to have the best outcome, we need to finish this assignment, or we need to do this work? Great, go do it. And look, even in this card, there's butterflies in there. Butterflies are a symbol of transformation. And what does this Pluto card say? Transformation. I'm telling you, Geminis, this is going to be some shit you go through. I'm excited. I love it. Love, love, love. All right. Oh, shit, yes. Sorry, my French. I don't know why. I'm, like, swearing this up a storm in your video. Uh, three of Wands, wish fulfillment, your ship's coming in, the answer's coming in, those things you've been waiting to see on their way, judgment, finding purpose, renewing the calling, this has a lot of, like, Phoenix, Phoenix energy, like, rising again, renewed, right? You know, there's almost like, oh, it's almost like a baptism, like, this is fun, oh, I'm liking this reading, Gemini, it's like, a, it's like a baptism, you think about this transformation, water, like, being baptized in, like, actually in the water, and then being born again here with this judgment card, it is like a baptism, and then you have the lovers, I'm not necessarily getting romantic vibes off of this, um, this is your card, 
Gemini, so this is really you showing up in your reading. What the Lover's card speaks to more than just romance, it's about a soul connection. A lot of times it's about, you know, your soul and another, but seeing here with the sun and moon, to me, I think this is really about, you know, joining these two aspects of yourself, like your masculine and your feminine side, fusing together and becoming one, being united, reunited in a way. It's like this whole fusion of yourself, where it's kind of like you take these two parts, push them together, and you just become this brand new, amazing, you know, fully realized individual. Ooh, I'm into it. And again, it's one that fuses that receptive, emotional, that, thank you, yes! Fuses that, that receptive, emotional, divine feminine with the assertive, you know, you know, dominant, goal-driven, motivated, masculine side, right? And then look what's born out of it. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning. Abundance. Creation. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. I love... Ooh, okay. We're going to go to the bottom of the deck because I just saw what's on the bottom. We're going to go through that. But big, new, bright, shiny abundance waiting for you. You know, and this feels like money. And I mean, I say that in Pentacles normally talk about like resources and money and things like that. But this really feels like money. Like, because this can be abundance in any way. It could be emotional, it could be a relationship, it could be, you know, it could be anything. But this straight up feels like money. I feel like this transformation that's happening in you pushes you, you know, to work harder or build that business you've been wanting to or find, find a more lucrative way of living or working or whatever it is. Again, finding your purpose. We have the judgment card here. But it's going to lead you to some money. Gemini, I'm into it. All right, let's go through your bottom right now. Yeah, that's not funny. So you have the devil card facing addictions, old behaviors, anything that holds you back, keeps you stuck. Taking this leap of faith here with the full card. It's almost like jumping over the devil's head. Like, nope, I'm out. I'm just going to leap. I'm going to start brand new. Again, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. Queen of Pentacles, great, beautiful energy. It's a really grounded energy, but it's also one that, that you know, is really focused on your well-being and you, and again your finances because again this is a really well manifested energy you know it's a little more on the receptive side of things since it's the queen not the king you know so this could be how we're building it how we're storing it you know what is it for how does it feed us right because you can see the queen of pentacles here is pregnant so again another form of abundance but it's you know how are we feeding it you think how a mom has to nurture and nourish this baby so how are we feeding this desire? And also, how is it feeding us? And then you, oh, stop it. Then you have the Knight of Wands, super act, active, going for it, taking the chances, acting. And then look, here you have another union, Two of Cups. This card usually I see as more romantic. Again, I, I just see it as a mundane representation of the lovers, where this is universal, this is happening in your everyday life. And again, it's just, it's that union. It's that coming together. Stop it. Your next two cards. Look at that. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking the names. High Priestess and the Magician. Again, counterparts. Feminine Seer. Masculine Magician. You know, two sides of the same coin. I tell you, Soul or Spirit with the Magician with your Sun card. And then moon, soul, with your moon card. Like, oh my god, I cannot. You are, it's like you're taking all the best pieces of you and finally integrating them all together. Oh, that's good stuff, Gemini. You are doing so well. Love to see it. Oh, that gave me tingles. All right. So last thing before I let you go, Gemini, we are going to pull a blessing so this could be related to the reading. This could be something separate and, you know, completely different. We shall see. You'll have to see how this resonates for you and in your life. Um, but this could be a blessing on if you do this, this work and allow this transformation to happen, what comes to you or just an area of your life that is just super light and sunny and, and benefits a lot this month. There it is. 
<laughs> well, I mean, you got the lover's card, you got the two of cups. Look at that. A blessing on your love. So I told you this new beginning doesn't have to be money. So it could be a new relationship for you single Geminis out there. That's always exciting. Um, could even be a like deeper connection in a current one, which honestly, I feel like that's a little bit more. I feel like it's a little, it's like taking your current romances and just blessing them and just bumping them up and making them deeper and making it a, a more profound connection. Uh, to me, it's more of a deepening, more so than a new. Like I would say the new for a lot of you is going to be more financial. And then for those of you in a relationship, you're taking it to another level. You know, maybe, maybe just the commitment deepens. Maybe someone actually proposes very soon. Could be a thing. But, oh, oh into it you're you're looking real good moving through october into harvest season my friends love it all right on that note i'm gonna let you go enjoy this month gemini if you enjoyed the reading please like and subscribe love all of that goodness as always wishing you the best if you ever want to reach out to me ask me a question connect with me however uh feel free i welcome all of it um you can hit me up in the comment section down below you can dm me on instagram at the guiding chariot um, and if you ever want to book a private session, all that info will be in the description box. Uh, you can also DM me on Instagram. It's probably the easiest way to reach me nowadays because I see it right away. Um, all right, my friends, take care. Again, wishing you the best. I love you. I'll see you in your next video. Bye.